Hello there everyone welcome back to Arts Authority today we will discuss about the topic are arts living in two dimensions in this video we will discuss about this topic in detail so let's start the video arts live in two dimensions as their smaller eyes and fewer omitedia support the vision of objects from only two sides length and width however they are three dimensional organisms as they have length width and height moreover they perceive a flat world where they cannot detect curves or different shapes arts do not have complex vision like humans as their tiny eyes can only see to a small distance they cannot detect an object's curve or depth due to fewer optical units in their eyes there are different theories about total dimensions on earth and space but string theory states about 10 dimensions exist in the universe relativity theory tells about four dimensions length height width and time such as the right and left sides from the center of an object help determine the width similarly you can move your body up and down which is perceived as height while forward and backward motion indicates body length accordingly arts live in a 2d world as their tiny eyes can explore the world only in two directions therefore they cannot observe the curved region of objects and perceive them as flat moreover they cannot have an idea of objects depth and consider it a plain surface accordingly these insects are only aware of the length and width of an object that comes in their way and usually moves only in these directions they do not feel any curves on the surface as they live only in two dimensional world and feel like they are moving in a straight direction Therefore they can only find humans as barriers as they cannot estimate the height of a human and change their direction when encountered by their body Ants do not have two dimensional bodies but they live in a 2D world as a result their bodies appear tiny and are hardly visible to human eyes when moving at a distance they possess three dimensional bodies as they have an appropriate length that can be measured in millimeters or inches from the head to the end of the abdomen in addition their bodies can be measured in width as they have defined distances between opposite legs on the right and left sides of the body these insects are mistakenly perceived as 2d creatures because their bodies are usually measured in length as they have negligible height and are much closer to the ground However their six tiny legs help raise their bodies slightly higher from the ground and make them crawling insects accordingly their body height gives them a third direction the flying ants take flight and move in different dimensions drawing attention to the bodies that are not 2d their underground nest have complex 3d tunnels showing their 3d movement it happened due to pheromone chemicals as they follow chemical cues to move forward Furthermore it is not wrong to think their perception abilities are 2D but these creatures have 3D bodies Many people think about these tiny creatures strategies to live in a flat world with a two dimensional vision however human can see a 3D world as their sharp eyes can help see an object's depth ants rely on other senses like pheromone signals to perceive their world such as they have two sensitive organs or antenna on their head that can detect various molecules on the ground moreover these antenna can help assess the texture or size of an object making it easy for these creatures to decide their movement patterns they move their antenna on the ground and feel the surface during their walk they usually change the direction of their movement if the antenna detect a bigger obstacle in their path they follow chemical cues to move as the direction of the trail is determined by the preceding insects detecting surfaces and giving a signal to move forward similarly their psychological power makes them strong enough to make abrupt decisions and show rapid reactions in addition their physical strength overcomes weak brain and vision accordingly you can find them lifting heavier objects easily and running away quickly after detecting a danger when you put a finger in front of their head Furthermore their memory can help them remember scenes with or other visuals on their way to get back home they are not entirely dependent on their vision and use antenna to detect surfaces thanks for watching the video